Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm just Joe, no title. And I'm so glad that you joined me for the Lord's Word of God today. And we just praise Yeshua, Jesus, the one that is and was and is to come, and there is no other. Amen? Amen. And so today we're going to learn about being born again. And so if you brought your Bibles, please turn with me to the book of John, chapter 3. And so here in chapter 3, there's a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews, and he wants to speak to Jesus. And reading from verse 2, This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do the signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. So brothers and sisters, what Jesus is saying is, all of us are born a human birth in our mother's womb. And we're surrounded with water. And when the water breaks, we come out. That is born of water. Born of spirit is God fills us up with the Holy Spirit. It overwhelms our spirit. Amen? Amen. So now let's look at the Word of God to find out about the conditions and how we are to receive the Holy Spirit. And so please turn with me to the book of Acts chapter 5, and we'll start reading verse 32. And we are his witnesses to these things. And so is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. So now, brothers and sisters, it's very clear to receive the Holy Spirit, you must obey the Lord's commandments. And in Hebrew 5, 9, it says that Jesus is the author of eternal salvation for all those who obey him. So brothers and sisters, it's very clear. You must be born again. When you ask Jesus in your heart, you're anointed. When you are baptized in the name of Jesus, you are a candidate to receive the Holy Spirit. Not everybody receives the Holy Spirit at the same time. And so we'll look more into the Word of God to know what we need to do to receive the Holy Spirit. So turn with me to the book of Ephesians chapter 4. We'll start reading in verse 22. Put off concerning your former conduct, the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man which was created according to God, in true righteousness and holiness. Now here it tells us that we need to put off sinning and put on the new man or new woman. And in verse 23, it says to renew the spirit of your mind. We need to have the mind of Jesus. And the mind of Jesus was to please God and do his will, to receive the Holy Spirit. You need to resist the devil when he tempts you with evil thoughts by putting up a barrier, by praying or singing Jesus songs or reading the Bible. Think of heavenly things, spiritual thoughts. The devil can't stand that, and he will flee. We need to wait on the Holy Spirit. In time, he will be manifested. If the Holy Spirit is in you, brothers and sisters, he will be clearly seen, because you will have the fruits of the Spirit. And the fruits of the Spirit are found in Galatians chapter 5. And there are love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. So brothers and sisters, no matter whether you're working towards receiving the Holy Spirit or you have the Holy Spirit, always let us take Christ as our master, our teacher, our example. Believe his doctrine and obey him. And brothers and sisters, we'll all be with our Lord and Savior someday for eternity. Amen? Amen.